Hey everybody, Echo V here and for this video I want to do something a little different so I'm going to be looking at the ZA Murasami Lager by the third party company Supernova or to be more exact the clear casting of the original model which I don't have unfortunately so there will not be any comparisons for this video I will be reviewing this model as it is okay so before we show you the model I'm going to show you the First, the instruction book. It is super brochure like in feeling. It feels nice. Instructions are super clear. You can see it very well. So, pretty straightforward. Next, we have the extra parts in teal. Uh, I don't really like the teal armor. It doesn't look that nice. So, it's just gonna stay in its plastic packaging. And of course, what's our plastic model kit without some stickers? I mean, Everyone loves stickers, right? Which is why they're still in the plastic packaging. And with everything out of the way, here is the Murasabi Lager itself. Now, I have to say that after having the model for a few weeks now, it honestly looks great. Yeah, the blue armor can be a bit too dark for some. The white pieces bordering on being clear or almost non-existent depending on the lighting. And not even the yellow pieces being somewhat orange sometimes. Yeah, it looks yellow from the, in the camera, but trust me, in real life, if you have this figure for itself, it's quite orange. But overall, it's not really that bad for a third-party model kit. Downside for this model kit is that anything pointed is surprisingly sharp, especially the main pieces. You know, the things that make up the main of its head. Except the blade for some reason, that's what's surprisingly not sharp. Okay, maybe the tip can be a bit sharp. Ah! Not to mention some questionable engineering. I mean, these eye pieces in particular are quite loose. They like to pop out. The instructions say to build them first, but if you ask me, it's best to just build a head first, then put the eyes in last. Not to mention the pieces that attach the main to the head. Yeah. Instead of being molded into the white pieces or for this head, head part on the blue part itself, it's a separate piece meaning you have to put the tab in first and then tab the main in. Again, why would they do that? And now for the main problem. You've probably noticed this in previous shots but the part that connects the blade piece to the main body slider is quite easy to break which I unfortunately did. I tried waiting for spare parts and look for some good ones online but I just can't seem to come by any so this tape fix what I have to do for now. I don't know what maybe I'll post an update video if I, if I get fixed. I don't know we'll see. Best thing to do for the time being is just split this piece apart trust me it's it's, it's quite easy to do and just adjust it if necessary. It's not long term but it's better than nothing. Okay last problem I swear the tail. Yes, it's copper which means free possibility for someone who's new to this like me but man is it hard to put some stuff here. I mean this tail piece in particular was difficult to put so what I had to do was build this piece first and then slide this connector so it locks into place. Also this connection likes to fall off a lot so I don't really know how to fix that. Maybe super glue would work? I'm not entirely sure. Again, I'm new to this. As for articulation, well, if you have other HMM ligers, then the articulation is pretty much the same. I mean, you have your leg joints, your leg bends, sorry, pivots, head movements. This bottom part of the main is quite loose, actually. It's, well, not loose, it's just you can swing it way too easily, like I'm showing the video right now. This, this blade can extend very, very, cr oh, main piece, probably I'll ignore it for now can bend right here it's a little too big come for the liger size but you know what it's fine had they had to do what they had to do speaking of bends and joints this piece in particular has a very special joint you know it's you know it has to extend you see it in the body right here so it appears long that it normally does as well as the legs wait sorry yeah this legs right here you can see yeah, yeah, pretty nice. Cockpit opens, but there's not really too much in here. There's no pilot, which is fine by me, honestly. I mean, those little buggers are easy to lose. And no Zoid core. There's no opening anywhere for a core. I mean, 
this piece looks like it, but there, it's just a, another piece. I like the Zoid Core. Wish we had that. Another thing I want to mention really quick is that this the front leg has this hydraulic piston pounding thing that can go up and down. Nice gimmick, but I don't really get why it exists. Oh, this of the model has a hole for a stand. I don't have a stand, although I've heard it's in the Hayate Liger kit. I'm not trying to get them because I'm RC5 with the Murasami Liger. Even with this little mess I did. Articulation wise, this thing can pose like an actual cat. Well, kind of. I mean, it's not leaving like one anytime soon, but trust me, it's there. Size comparison. Here's Roy Mustang from Full Metal Alchemist, the 2003 version, by the way. Mewtwo. And the fellow Liger, the HMM Shield Liger. I gotta say, I love the way these two look together. It's the crossover we wanted but never had. Now that we're, now that we're pretty much done with the vid video, now that we're pretty much done with the review, I have to say, despite the problems I've encountered er owning this kit, it's actually pretty great, especially for a third model. Third, especially for a third party model. It's cheaper, but it doesn't sacrifice anything. Who knows? Maybe one of these days we'll get an official HMM model as well. Until next time, I'm Echo V, and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone, don't do crimes. Now that we're pretty much done with the review, I have to say, despite the problems I've encountered er owning this kit, it's actually pretty great, especially for a third party model. It's cheaper, but it doesn't sacrifice anything. Who knows? Maybe one of these days. We'll get an official HMM model as well. Until next time, I'm Echo V, and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone, don't do crimes.